Yes, give me life. So I'm having an espresso with half a Splenda to start off my morning. How many Splenda do I have, Maggie? Yeah, I'm <laughs> I get three times the amount of Splenda that. Ew, I can have as much as I want, but I like half a Splenda. What are you eating this morning? Uh, leftover chicken from the party, from the housewarming party, with uh, some rice and uh, over easy egg. Oh, yummy. It's delicious, yeah. I'm a Cholula. Yeah, I'm like half a bottle of Cholula. So I am not doing too bad. My tooth actually, um, it's like it doesn't hurt as bad as I thought it was going to, and it's not even like really swollen. But um, I was going to, well, I'll do a full day of eating for you guys today because I know I said I would do that. It's probably going to take me a lot longer to eat today just because my tooth was pulled yesterday. Um, but I think it's time that I do a full day of eating for you guys. And then I'll show you guys too, like kind of what I've been snacking on at night. It's nothing bad, but I'll show you guys when I get like cravings and stuff like that and i'm not always like eating my cucumbers and stuff i'll show you guys what i eat but it's still not bad at all um it was funny because i was sitting literally inside not sitting but i was standing by the cupboard for like for how long last night <laughs> for like 10 minutes trying to find something that i knew that i wasn't gonna eat but i ended up finding something that was very low calorie and satisfied me so it wasn't too bad but i'm gonna film a full day of eating for you guys so Right now, I'm editing a video because my computer's been acting funny. And every single morning, I have the same exact breakfast. Like I told you guys, I like eating plain stuff. Even when I'm not dieting, I actually have the same exact breakfast. I like to start off my day with like a very light breakfast, light and clean, so I don't feel heavy in the morning. So, four um, egg whites. And then... Maggie, is this a, a whole cup of oats or half a cup? Half a cup. Half a cup of oats with, with the Splenda. So Maggie has been helping me um, make my breakfast in the morning because she makes it for Gigi, so she just makes mine too because normally I'm on the couch editing and I won't eat till later, so she serves me. Um, Maggie, do we use any garlic salt in this one? Yeah, a little bit. So we use a little bit of garlic salt. That's all I use on my egg, wh uh, my egg whites. And then I did a little bit more than half a cup of oats with a Splenda. So that's my first meal of the day. What are we doing, Maggie? We're gonna go bungee jumping. <laughs> I'm so excited. Off the stratosphere building. Stratosphere Tower Tour. It's like you're dropping off a cliff and then it stops. Oh, Jesus. Maggie, are we doing all these? You down? Wait, but your hands are getting sweaty. They're super sweaty and I'm shaking, but I'm down. So we're packing to leave to Vegas today. I forgot about that. Packing to leave to Vegas today. And me and Maggie are trying to find adventures. And we're going to go on all these rides. Hopefully I can make it through. Hopefully we come out alive. Bonsai, where's your toy? Get your toy. Where's your toy? Get it. Where's your toy? Get your toy, Bonsai. Okay, give it to me. Good boy. Okay, let go. Let go. Let go. <laughs> okay, you win, you win, you win. So I'm having my second cup of espresso. I am obsessed with my Nespresso machine. And I'm still editing this video. So, so I gotta do something with myself. But my goal has been to uh, drink a gallon of water a day. I've honestly been probably drinking about a half a gallon a day. I need to get back on my drinking game. But it's honestly not the easiest thing to drink your water. So I really need to focus on drinking my water because I have not been drinking a gallon like I've been wanting to a day. So I have this water that I bought yesterday. So I just love the handle. And it's noon, just about noon. And you can see that I haven't drank anything. I haven't even opened the lid. So, 
And also, I've been answering client emails all morning, and I have been trying to narrow down the top three spring challenge winners because there was some really good, really good transformation. So if you guys are not familiar with my challenges that I've been doing, um, basically I create a program, an eight week program that's given to um, anybody that wants to participate and then whoever has the best transformation overall, physically and mentally, because um, I do have like mental challenges as well as the physical challenge and the nutrition part of it, um, then I pick the winner and the winner gets to um, gets a thousand dollar cash prize and they also get flown down to hang out with me so um, it's very very hard because um, a lot of girls just really kept up with their journals every day and like some people like lost a lot of weight and so it's very hard to choose so I've been narrowing it down for like the last week and I had a few hundred girls in this one in the spring challenge, so I will be announcing those today at some point. And then the summer challenge, a lot of girls have been asking me about the summer challenge. I've been working on the program for like the last week, but it probably won't be finished up for like another week. And then um, I will be announcing a summer challenge enrollment. So if you guys are interested, look out for that. Um, but yeah, that's what I've pretty much been doing all morning. And I think I'm gonna have a meal pretty soon here. And yeah, today's just a lot of packing too. We gotta pack. I'm not excited about packing. But me and Maggie are gonna take you guys on some adventures because I actually got a GoPro 5, I believe. And so we wanna do like all like the stratosphere, like um, bungee jumping and the roller coasters and stuff like that. And I'm like super scared, but I like to like challenge myself, even if I pass out along the way, like on the ride. <laughs> Um, it's gonna be fun. So we're gonna go to like hiking Red Rock, Red Rock Canyon I think we're gonna like stop at the Grand Canyon hopefully so all kinds of exciting adventures we leave tomorrow I know I've said that already, but it just seems so uh, I don't really like traveling and packing and traveling and packing so Anyway, a good thing I do have my igloo thing because I will be prepping meals and bringing them on the road with me so I'll show you guys how I prep and um, travel and prep and yeah and my mouth is what kind of looks like it's getting a little swollen. Hey, Maggie. <laughs> I lost control. <laughs> this is how my life is currently right now. I, just... I don't know how to use it. Sorry, guys. Hey, Maggie, if you need some more, some more Why do you always get to be a smart ass? <laughs> okay, so I'm going to eat two thirds of rice, asparagus, and mushrooms. And then this is the cod that I cooked yesterday. And then I'm going to have my supplements, and then I'm taking up my... Why can't I keep thinking about what it is? What is this pill called again? Antibiotic. It's antibiotic. And my 800 milligrams of and ibuprofen. Of because I what? am in pain right now, and I have really not gone anywhere without water. And then I've been using this. Normally I use um, soy sauce, but I have not went and grabbed any soy sauce. So, um, this is what I'm using what on top Sprite, of Maggie? my actual. <laughs> so, I'm going to have my cold pressed juice. And this is what I've been drinking like every day. Unless Maggie makes me um, basically the same thing. But these are just really convenient to have in the refrigerator. And it has beets, cucumbers, celery, apple, carrots, spinach, ginger, lemon. And they're actually not that bad. They're 120 calories, all carbs basically, four grams of protein, 25 grams of carbs. What were you saying, Gigi? Oh, the popsicle you wouldn't let me have? Cause I had one left, okay. You have your mochi balls, you have your haagen -Dazs, and I have one little fat-free calorie Pop that you wanted uh, to take from me, but I, I said no I, because I what if I crave? For you and I have that one. So I have one left in here. I did buy these, right? I'm not sure, but look at I have one left. I'm sure. This is what you wanted, but look at here it has his Hagen Dazs. Only has all his mochis that I bought him. If you want to talk about buying stuff. Actually, I, I bought those. And I just have my one little puny little sugar-free popsicle, and that's the one you want. Hmm. And that's the one you want? Yeah. That's why? what I wanted last night. Why? And then you told me. But why though? Why specifically? Because I didn't feel like you did one of those. You felt like too much. I wanted one of these things. 
Okay, well here you're gonna, you're I gonna have, have one of these. I said if you really wanted it, you can have it. You made me feel really bad about it. Yeah, because it's my only one left. Like that's gonna like save me from like grabbing a Haagen Dazs or like a mochi. Like I don't know those little that. popsicles, like they really help with my it. cravings. And I got a freaking tooth pulled. And you don't even care. You'd rather just eat my popsicle because you feel like a popsicle. Did I eat your popsicle? No, you did it, but you're He's complaining about it. Pop. Yeah. Yes. He wants to eat it, so you eat the other one. But <laughs> see, we're not going to do that because we're not going to give in. Good job. Don't get <laughs> in. So I'll eat it, and then you can really work on not getting in. You're such an ass. A fajitas plate or a California burrito? I'm done with you. I think a fajitas. No, I mean, a California burrito sounds bomb too. It has french fries in the burrito. Are you getting Postmates? Mm hmm. Oh, must be nice. Oh, must be so nice. Hey! What are you doing? Nothing. What are you gonna get? Should I get a burrito or should I get a fajita plate? Which one should it be? Do you want a cucumber drink? Oh, I, thanks. A I cucumber drink. asked if she wanted a cucumber energy drink or a watermelon drink. I already had my drinks, though. I don't know what that means. I had my, um, this thing. Are you only allowed one per day? No, I just try to limit. I just had it, though, so. Thank you for your concern. Go about your burrito and fajita business. Must be nice. All right, I think I'm gonna get the supreme fries and the fajita plate, and I'm gonna have a grand time. <laughs> so Garrett's Postmates just came. Must be nice. Must be nice. While I'm prepping to make myself a little protein bowl, Garrett is having this. Okay, first of all, you guys, Chips and salsa is my absolute weakness, okay? That's number one that came in Garrett's Postmates. And these he likes to call, what are they called? Uh, Supreme Fries. Supreme Fries. What the heck is going on here? Are you serious? Can I just like dive in here and live in here for the day? And then fajitas. Jeez, you just ordered everything, huh? Meh. Meh. Uh, I'm just, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna smell real quick. They're getting cold, Jess. Hey, you stop complaining over there, or else I'm not giving you anything. That's how you ask for your food? No, I'm just entertaining myself while they're Uh-huh, I'm done. 17. I'm going to be fat, enormous today. Oh yeah, we're all, I'm not allowed to say that. <laughs> Must be nice. How good is that? Can you let us know how good that is? I'll let you know all about it. Yeah, Tell doing? me how good those... What are they, like nacho fries? Yeah, it's... Oh, if I can get, get to the fries, there's so much topping. Okay, I'm gonna admit, you guys, I'm gonna have one of these. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Mm. bomb. Yeah, that's very good. My name is Vikram Danish Roy. Benny's Tacos, thank you. So I'm gonna have white rice, turkey, asparagus, and mushroom. And I just want you guys to know that willpower is a very strong thing when you got somebody like this in the house. I'll, I'll be honest, I'll, I'll be a caller sometimes. You wanna trade? But I still you have this. The things you make are actually pretty good. Are they? Yeah, like I told you I would eat a lot of that stuff. Is you, you, uh, uh, that chicken that you make, I like it. The plain Jane chicken? Mm -hmm. Is it better than what you're eating now though? Don't oh. even tell me it's better. No, no. <laughs> Oh my gosh, yeah, I see the swollenness. So I'm still in my robe, it's 4 p.m. I have been working all freaking day. <sighs> Sometimes that's just, that is just what happens though. And I wanted to tell you guys, um, a lot of you guys say like, oh, you have like a lot of, you know, willpower and I couldn't do that. 
um, as far as like saying no to drugs with carrots eating, that's pretty much a drug. But um, for me, like after I think it's been like 10 days now, I can see a significant difference in my body and um, I've dropped two pounds as well. I woke up at 116 pounds and that's not something I should really be talking about because um, I'm gonna be more based off of like my body fat percentage and compare the weight that way but i can i feel i woke up feeling really good this morning like just a lot tinier and i felt like a lot lighter and i can see changes in my body almost daily i don't know if you guys noticed but in that back workout yesterday um that i posted i could see my muscles more than i have since i've like started lifting the last like I think I've been lifting solid now for like three or four months. It's the most muscle I've seen on my back. So today that like motivates me even more um, to just get in the gym and kill it and not eat anything off my diet. Um, so that's what's keeping me motivated, especially today. Um, I thought about going to the gym and I'm like, oh yeah, cool. Like um, I can't wait to see like my pump and I can't wait to see how my muscles are looking. So with time if you can pass the first couple of weeks of dieting you'll start seeing results if you're doing everything that you need to be doing so don't be discouraged um and keep that as your motivation when i start seeing results that's what really starts yapping my fire in the beginning it can be a little bit harder but then when you start seeing results that right there is like the biggest motivator so i just want to share that with you guys that i'm not doing too bad i'm actually looking forward to this meal and then i'm looking forward to my workout so <sighs> I think shoulders today. Yep, got some shoulders today. It's gonna be killer. Yummy, yummy, yummy. I love, love Diet Dr. Pepper. So I'm going to have a scoop of this. And then I'm going to have a serving of this, which is two scoops. And this is for hair, skin, nails, joints, and bones. And I put this on my supplement video um, that this is kind of what I've been taking so it's like flavorless so I'll normally put it with like a protein shake or my BCAs but I try to put it with a protein shake and then um, cashew butter the one from Trader Joe's is super good it's like super soft sometimes you get cashew butter and it could be like it gets really hard like in in um, the containers but this one's actually probably my favorite one so far Trader Joe's and the 365 Whole Foods I normally get but cashew butter is really really good if you guys are used to peanut butter or almond butter I would definitely suggest cashew I've been eating cashew butter for years it's way better in my opinion than um, regular peanut butter or almond butter and then I'm gonna put this on um, I'm gonna I normally eat these together and so I'm gonna eat a banana and then I'm gonna take my antibiotic and my ibuprofen also i know a lot of you guys ask me what i put in my protein shakes as far as to mix it i've always always done water i don't care for the extra calories in my um protein shakes so i don't do almond almond milk i don't do anything like that i always put water in my protein shakes and i did about one and a half cut one and a half scoops of the protein and two scoops of that supplement that I was talking about and I put a little bit of ice in here, some water and mix it.
This light looks really weird on my face, but I just did 45 minutes cardio. And the reason why I did 45 minutes cardio is because yesterday at Garrett's gym, um, this guy came up and talked to me like, the, like I did 15 minutes of rowing and then I was gonna do 15 minutes of sprints. So this guy came up and talked to me at Garrett's gym and um, I didn't want to be rude. I listened to him and I was listening to him. <laughs> I listened to him, to him until the gym closed because the gym closed at 7. It was like 6.45 when he came to talk to me. So that's kind of a legit reason. And um, But super, super nice guy. And so that's why I did an extra 15 minutes today. So I was on the cardio machine for about 45 minutes. I think I burned about 350 calories. Um, normally I'm not a big like cardio like add-on you know i'm not that girl that adds on like oh i'll just cut 15 minutes short today and then i'll add on and i'll do 45 minutes or i'll do an hour i'll do an hour and a half tomorrow like i don't ever do that i normally do the cardio that i'm supposed to so there was a couple times that money hall came in and was like no like that's 45 minutes is way too much like what are you doing like that was a legit reason why you didn't finish cardio yesterday you don't have to uh do 45 minutes what are you doing and then even at like 35 minutes i was like 35 minutes is enough but I literally fought through it and I was like, nope, I'm gonna feel like a failure if I don't finish 45 minutes that I set out to do. And I actually put it on the stair mill time, so I gotta finish it. Anyway, I was in the gym also and I was thinking, um, I've been seeing like results in my body, like the, cause it's it's been about, I think like a full 10 days now. And I've been seeing like, cause I've been like 100% on everything. I think I've been 1% off. Like I had a couple glasses of wine and then I've had some pretzels and I've had a couple little pieces of sweet tarts, but we won't talk about that. Um, but besides that, like I've been super on everything 
and I was thinking I was I felt so good in the gym today I just felt so confident and I felt like I'm getting my body back and like the physique that I feel comfortable with and I felt so good and in that moment I thought because I get asked so often like how do you stay so strong like when you know when like you're craving something or you know like when Garrett eats bad food in front of me or just there's like bad food all around in general like all the time we have access to like any food we want right so it's all willpower so I thought I was like you know what that instant gratification feels nothing because as soon as it's instant gratification it's also instant guilt so it's like a 50 50 it's not even like a full hundred percent you get to feel good about eating what you ate like right away you feel super guilty and um for me like i realized in the gym today and I, that's why i wanted to tell you guys like nothing beats the feeling of feeling um confident in your own skin and feeling like so good to see like results in the mirror like I'm looking more muscular I can see more muscle I can feel that I'm losing fat my waist is coming back and just in the gym in that moment I felt so good and I was like you know what this is why I can say no to certain things this is why I come to the gym this is why I push myself like I do because nothing beats the feeling of how you feel when you're physically changing and, and reaching your goals like there's no other comparison to that, um, meaning like eating sweets or, you know, drinking or or giving in in that in that, you know, moment of weakness. So stay strong because just remember that when you eat something bad, that's short term gratification. But if you're consistently saying no to that stuff and then the feeling that you get of actually accomplishing your goals and physically feeling confident and just overall good about yourself and healthy there's nothing like that feeling that's like a long-term feeling it's not just like i've felt good for like the last like three days that i've been seeing results and i feel so good and you know like i said when i eat something it's just like boom you feel super guilty like right away um so just kind of think about that think about your long-term goals um, and don't focus on what's right in front of you at the moment bad food or cravings focus on what you're focused on in your future and reaching your goals and how you're gonna feel longevity so wanted to get that little tip out there but I speaking of cravings I am super hungry right now and I came to Ralph's and it's like 10 45 at night and I have not had a steak or salmon in like 10 days <laughs> I actually just haven't had steak in general because I'm trying not to eat as rich, much red meat because Garrett has completely like he stopped eating red meat for like a year but I love red meat honestly I know it's harder to digest on my body in my body like that's the only thing that I really feel the difference on but I think this is like the longest I went without red meat and sometimes like during prep when my body's like super craving something like right now like I feel hungry I feel like I'm cr like my body's craving something um when I eat red meat or salmon um I feel like so good like it like it satisfies my body like my body's kind of stressed right now it feels like because I've been eating like a lot of fish and a lot of like really lean stuff but like when i eat a, a good steak or like a good salmon which is still super lean salmon has a lot of fats in it but it's really good fats um red meat just has like it, red meat's just it's different it has a lot of health benefits and then like i said then it can be like hard to digest for me or garrett just completely doesn't eat it but anyway long story short red meat or salmon like that's i normally include that in my prep but i just haven't so i am gonna go get a red meat a steak and probably like a salmon. I don't know what else. Maybe some carbs and some vegetables that I can cook right now because um, Garrett's sleeping at home so I can make a good little dinner and then um, edit this video for you guys. So I'll show you guys what I get and I'll show you guys what I'm eating for my last meal. And oh, I didn't tell you guys one more thing. <laughs> I'm actually doing really well with my water today. I think you guys would be super proud. Look at, I mean, I'm proud of myself. I think I got like, I think we're at like, be like 70% and then to, and then um, I actually ate a uh, 
protein bar and I'm not a big protein bar person in general I feel like I get really bloated um not really bloated but I do get bloated like I just don't feel like it's a solid meal like but sometimes if I don't have a shake on me like I always have um, some type of protein bar with me just in case and so uh, on the stair mill I wasn't planning on doing 45 minutes cardio like I got super hungry like all of a sudden and so um, I grabbed my protein bar and I ate it while I was on the stair mill so that's what I did and that was something I ate today because <laughs> I'm recording everything you guys want to see I don't know it's crazy because like I got like a message today and, and this girl's like um move a, a video request can you um record a full day of eating and I'm like but I feel like I show you guys my full day of eating like every day like I feel like I feel like it's the same repetitive thing but I guess it's not like I'll make sure to put the macros down here for you and I'll make sure to actually list um exactly what i ate today so you guys can see because i always feel like i show you guys everything that i eat but maybe it's just not exactly in order and stuff so you guys want to see what i eat every day so i feel like i need to make like one eating like once a week i need to do a video of like a full day of eating and once a week of like physique update you guys like those videos for some reason but anyway i'm gonna go for and get a steak because i'm sitting here for eight minutes and 30 seconds with my rambles okay see you guys in the grocery store See you, see you on the other side, stay alive, stay alive, ooh, ooh. I got to keep it together, keep it together. ground pepper and garlic salt. Okay guys, so I have about, let's say about six, uh, about seven ounces of, this is New York steak. Normally I like to get a lot leaner steak, but this is was really the only selection. Um, and these are red potatoes, but they're a little bit crispy. Don't judge me. I was hungry. But I don't mind them burnt like this. I put some olive oil. And so this is how they came out. But I'm going to enjoy this meal. And I hope you guys enjoyed today's vlog. And I hope you guys enjoyed today's full day of eating. If you guys like this video and you guys want one of these once a week, um, I will try to change up the food selection for you guys on the next one. But let me know if you guys like this and if it helped or I don't know, whatever you guys like, whatever you guys want. But I'm going to go to sleep. Well, not sleep. I'm going to eat this and then I'm going to go hang out with Gigi because he's hanging out over there and there's a nice fire going on. So I will see you guys bright, early in, bright and early in the morning and I leave to Vegas tomorrow. So a lot of packing, a lot of prepping food. And then a road trip to Vegas tomorrow. So a lot of fun. I will see you guys tomorrow. Thanks for tuning in today. Love you guys.